As the Dixie State campus clock struck nine, patrons attending a special ceremony solemnly listened, remembering that on this day 19 years ago, our country was under attack by terrorists. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave. That was when the country came together in grief and anger with grit and resolve. And that was the day that we promised we would never forget, that we would never surrender. And on that day, our country was completely united. For me, today is still September 12th. And that's because I'll never forget it. But it's a different September 12th than it was in 2001. I'm older, hopefully wiser, and the country is in a different place. We can have a civil discussion about whether we made mistakes and went for too far in our response, but I think there's a lot to learn from September 11th as long as we continue to remember. And as this event shows, we will continue to remember the victims of that day and the heroes that responded. And in this divided time, Remember them through your patience and understanding of fellow Americans that you disagree with. I think by doing that, you can help us all continue to heal and bring back some of that unity that we had on September 12th. Dennis Walker was among those who watched the terror as it unfolded on television while at work. I worked in the aerospace industry, so 9-11 has like a big meaning to me because every plane that flew, my company had parts on. DSU's performance team Raging Red commemorated the service with their voices. The service honored all those lives lost on that day. Nearly 3,000 miniature U.S. flags graced the lawn near the clock tower, representing the lives that were lost on 9-11. The flags were an idea of a student who is starting a new chapter of Young Americans for Freedom. There's 2,977 flags, so there's one flag for every person who were, was killed or died rescuing those um, during the attacks uh, 19 years ago. And it's incredibly important to remember those events, especially like 9-11, because um, like the speaker said, um, the day after 9-11 we were more unified as a nation than our for the first time in a really long time. And it's important to remember those kind of feelings that bring us together as a nation. Walker shows his patriotism with a tattoo representing that day and how he will never forget. We can reinforce those attitudes on them that how important it is to teach the history of our country and the, the things that have gone on that have shaped who the backbone and the majority of the people of the United States, what they really believe. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. As the ceremony came to a close, 132 balloons representing the Utahns who lost their lives as a result of the attacks were released into the air as a moment of silence honored all. From Dixie State University, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.